Sammy's in Spain learning Spanish, right? Yeah. A lot of our young people are going in camp or uh, overseas right now, and so it's going to be thin for the rest of the summer, and that's fine. Um, we're just happy that everybody has the resources and, and can be gone and be reunited with the family and friends, and so we're happy about that. I know that. Uh, um, Garrett and Vera, in the next three or four weeks, I believe, will be leaving for Crete, I think, and also Lebanon, and so that's kind of exciting. And uh, so, um, travel mercies, of course, for everyone who will be going places. Um, we do need to keep Ralph in our prayers, as I think most everyone knows. What's well, probably about 12 years ago, he had um, the kidney removed because of cancer. And he's been having problems recently with his remaining kidney. So this is serious for anyone, but particularly when you're almost 97. So we need to keep him. They will be celebrating their 76th Six. Sixth, uh, anniversary in six, seven weeks. So keep mm -hmm. that in mind. Uh, Ralph's OK, other than this is serious. So we need to keep him in our prayers. With that said, <clears throat> are there any other people <laughs> Excuse me, I know uh, where, yes, there you are. My brother had surgery at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning at Morse Hill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brother Ken's going to be there at 6 o'clock. His first name again? Tim. Tim Masters, right? Mm -hmm. And this is very, very serious surgery. Yes. Um, some reconstructive surgery, and they're removing some things, and that, that this is um, very dangerous surgery, and so we need to uh, keep Tim in our prayers. And I did have that down to ask about that. David? Yes? Uh, my son-in-law is having surgery tomorrow on his back. His okay. name is Kirk. Anything else? Anyone else? <coughs> then let us turn our attention to prayer. <coughs> Gracious and heavenly God, first we give thee praise for the rain and the hot weather and the humidity. We give thee thanks for this time of growing. For because of this wonderful time of growth, people will be fed. And because people will be fed, <coughs> lives will be saved. And because lives will be saved, more can come to know you and rejoice in your presence. We would ask that we would become instruments of sharing the bounty of the food that we have with others, and that we would be uh, eager to share the bounty of Christ's love that we have with others, and that we would take this time of uh, refreshment, renewal, this vacation time in our church and in our souls to re-equip ourselves for the divine work that you have put before us. But in the meantime, we do have work to do and prayers to offer and people of this fellowship and connected with this fellowship to be mindful of. And first, we give thee thanks for our young people and uh, those who have been with them, overseen them, that you have brought them back safely to us and that their camping experiences and their buckhorn experiences have been <clears throat> wonder-filled. We give thee thanks for that opportunity that all had. We ask that you um, give all of our young people and their attendant families travel mercies this summer. Many will be flying uh, out from the United States. Others will be venturing um, on sojourns within um, our country. We would ask that each person um, be given uh, a guardian angel to watch over them and to bring them back safely. We abide with those members who this summer in particular are faced with uh, interesting and challenging um, decisions to make. 
We ask that you abide with those people and that you would illuminate um, their spirits, mm -hmm. that they would be confident in the decisions that they make, uh, that you are with them. And we would ask that they be receptive to your word and to your discipline and to your love. Travel mercies, of course, for um, Hananias and Fatty Haddad and Soel Haddad. Travel mercies for all of us, I would ask that as well. We ask also that your healing hand uh, rest upon Don's son-in-law, Kirk, as he undergoes back surgery. That you would continually, as you have for 97 years, um, be with Ralph Young and restore him to a measure of good health in these vintage years of his. And that you be with his uh, beloved Ruth as they enjoy the time that you have given them on this planet. We ask that you be with Tim Masters as he undergoes extremely difficult and extraordinary surgery tomorrow. We would ask that you would abide with his beloved sister and that um, Sue not be frightened, but rather be confident that you will be there in the hospital with her brother, that you will bring him through this needed surgery and restore him to a measure of good health and comfort. Gracious and heavenly God, for those who suffer heartache in this fellowship and sorrow, I would ask that you would hold them in the hollow of your hand and that you would speak their names and that they would hear their names being spoken and that they would fall in love with you and know that they are safe with you. I would ask for those who, for whatever reasons, are unable to think clearly and to discern your will, that they would put aside their egos and that they would uh, open their hearts to receive the clarity of your voice. For those who um, are engaged in behaviors that um, are unseemly, I would ask that you would enter their lives and forgive them, and that you would place them on paths of righteousness for your sake, and that your will and your way would be known to them. For those who suffer confusion, I would ask that you be with them and clarify their minds and give them the insights that they need. For those of us who suffer from measures of arrogance and of uh, always being right, let us be wrong on that. And find only our righteousness in thee. Gracious and heavenly God, this is a good day. We ask that you abide with each and every one of us. We ask that you abide with those we have forgotten or not been told to mention. We ask that you be, um, though in, in this prayer, that you would be with Colleen's daughter, Kathleen, and that you would abide with her, and that it would be your way to demonstrate to all your way of love, that you are the great healer, and that you restore Kathleen to a measure of good and fair health. These prayers are imperfect. This one is not. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So it is, friends, that I come to you and I say and ask that may the peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. And please share the peace of Christ with your neighbor.